Hey friends and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rebecca Austin and in this channel we talk about all things Kajabi, marketing, and growing your online business. Now today I want to talk just a little bit about integrating third-party applications into your Kajabi site. Now the cool thing that about Kajabi, one of the things I love so much about it and what brought me to Kajabi in the first place was that it's such a powerful platform and that we can do so many things in-house. We don't have to have a website application that then we're trying to integrate with a bunch of apps and then try and then also have our landing pages and our email marketing and all these things in different places. Kajabi gives us one place to have not only the website, but also things like our sales funnels, our email campaigns, our checkout pages, uh, collecting money. And on top of that, it is one of the most awesome online platforms for delivering your online products. However, occasionally there might be a circumstance where you might want to incorporate something that Kajabi doesn't currently have. For example, there are times that a lot of times my clients want to be able to have a coaching session where they can have a calendar schedule to schedule in a specific call. I do that even on my own website that if you want to look into working with me on one of our done for you services, you can just go to my website and click on schedule a consultation and then pops up a calendar link that you can just schedule that consultation right away without having to go back and forth on emails and things like that. It just makes things so much more convenient to be able to embed a third party application like a calendar. So let's walk into how to do that. It's super easy and we can do it just about on any of Kajabi's themes. It's even more seamless and there's some extra things that I'll show you in the new Encore theme. So let's jump on in and take a look at how to do that inside Kajabi. So here's an example on my website where, as I said, I have it set up where if you click on schedule a consultation, we can simply, it takes you to this page and then we have a calendar that's been embedded in the page itself. I use Calendly specifically, but there's a lot of different applications out there. And then when you click on this, you can actually select the date and time and then schedule the appointment. So the way we do this is inside Kajabi on your page. And this particular page happens to have been done a while ago before before Encore was released. So this is done in a premiere theme, but I'll show you both and essentially how you can set it up as a custom section or in the Encore theme, you can actually set it up as a block within a section to really get that customization and have it set up the way that you want to. So essentially all we're doing in order to add the embed of some third party application is first we have to create the block or the section that we want it to be in. So in this case, we go to add section and then we find the custom section, uh, custom content and we'll add. And then of course you want to do your, your background and all of the other edits that you want to do. So in this case, I did it as my blue for my branding. And then we go to our text block. I don't want a text block. I'm going to delete this block. And what I want to do is I want to add custom code. So we're simply adding a custom code block within that section. And now we need to know what code we're going to put in here. So this is where you go to whatever software or third party application that you're wanting to get the information from. So in my case, it's Calendly. So I go over to my Calendly. I find the calendar that I want to embed in there. We go to our settings and we want to add it to a website we find our embed code and hit continue. And then we simply copy and paste over into our code. We just paste it here. And now you can see there is our calendar. Now, one of the things that you'll notice just as a side note on here is this is a default size block on, and you see how the calendar is kind of cut off. We have to scroll on this to get to where we can see it. If you are comfortable with this, you can actually go into the code itself and you can look at this and you can see where it says width is 320 pixels and height is 300 or 630 pixels. If we want to make it a little taller, we just go in here and we change that. 
and now it's a little bit bigger and we can see the whole calendar. If that's still not quite big enough, we can make it a 930 pixels. And now you can see where we have our time zone and everything is all in here. So you can go in there and customize it even within the code without having to know code. You simply can just look at here and it's pretty self-explanatory that your width and your height. So you can play with this to get it to look exactly the way that you want it to look. So once we have this set up, then you can, you can adjust your block, you can add other elements, you can do whatever it is that you want to. If we wanna have a text block over here giving instructions, in my case, I have the text above, uh, but there's a lot of different things that you can do just to customize just like you nor normally would in a Kajabi page. But the point of this video specifically is to show you how you simply go into a custom block and then add custom code. So I'm actually going to delete this because this is one of my live pages and we don't want this um, in the actual page. Save my changes. All right, so let me show you how we do this in an Encore theme. We can pretty much do the same thing in Encore. So let's just select new page and any of our Encore pages, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can just set up whichever page you want and we'll title it. Add your customization, start creating your page and then wherever you want to add your block, which for this sake, I'm just gonna go through and delete these other sections just so that they're not in our way and we have to scroll through the page Okay, so I've deleted the other sections. Now what we'll do, and subsequently, if you have a page, haven't created a page template, it's much better if you create it off a template instead of a new page every time you create a page. That's a side bonus information on here because otherwise then every time we go in, we have to change our footer settings and our header settings and all of those other things. But if you create a te page template and then just clone that page anytime you wanna create a new page, you're not starting from scratch. So that's something to consider. Okay, so if we're going to add that block to this particular page, we want to scroll down till we see our custom block. And we can either do custom section or custom code. It doesn't really matter because custom section does have a custom code block. Uh, it's whichever works best as far as your spacing and getting started. But then we go into our custom code and we do the same thing. We just copy and paste that calendar embed into our block. And again, we can go in and we can change the pixels here to a different size so that it shows up a little bit better. We can do all kinds of different things. But this is where it gets really cool in Encore is that we can add our animations where we can have this actually slide in or zoom in where we can uh, change and have it fade. We can have it fade left or however you want to do this, create our, our duration, all kinds of different things so it captures people's attention. The other thing that we can do is we can have our mobile layout where we ha adjust our spacing and we can also do our desktop layout. So in a desktop layout, I might want to change this so that it overlaps the section above so that we get a nice effect here. So I can actually go into our outside spacing, make it this a negative 200. Let's just play with that and see how that looks. And now you can see where we get an overlap effect to where I can have this as our hero banner, for example, and then this gives us an overlap and an animation. So this is something that's really cool that gives us that little extra customization and that really neat modern look in the Encore theme. So that just is a little in a nutshell on what you can do on adding third-party applications and getting this in here. Now, once you have this set up, you just simply, just like anything, you click save and then we can just preview it just so that we can see how it's going to look. And here is our page and there it faded in with our animation and you can see how it looks really nice and then everything is interactive so we can select here, pick a time, confirm that time just like um, if you were going to actual Calendly but now it's embedded in your site. How cool is that? So now you too can embed third-party applications into your Kajabi site simply by getting that embed code and dropping it into your pages. 
If you are planning on using this on your website and your Kajabi site, I'd love to hear about it. So feel free to leave a comment below and give me a thumbs up and let me know how you plan on using this in your website. And if you have any questions, feel free to also comment below. If you love growing your Kajabi business or you're interested in more information about Kajabi, marketing and growing an online business, I welcome you to subscribe to my channel because we do post videos regularly of all kinds of different tips to help you grow. Feel free to also check out my website at striveforsavvy.com where we have tons of extra resources as well as the other videos on this channel. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next video.